Hello, Leo. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Uh, Alright, so this is your mid-month reading from August 1st to August 15th, 2017. Excuse my birds in the background. Okay, if you would like to book a private reading with myself, all that information is in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. Alright. I'm like lost on my months right now. Okay. I know the shuffling does take some time. Sorry about that. Remember that these are general. They're not going to resonate with everybody. <clears throat> so from the August, from August 1st to August 15, you guys have the Five of Swords. So that card means um, for some of you, it's like willing to change. So it and it's a thought because swords are having to do with thoughts. So I don't know if some of you guys are just changing your mind about something or. There was issues and you were willing to compromise or something like that. Well, we could find out. So the top row is past, present, and future. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So for the past. We have the Ace of Pentacles, some type of financial loss, or somebody took money from you, or you took money from somebody. There was just some type of financial loss, okay? And then we have the King of Swords. King of Swords is, you know, someone who is finally thinking clear, so... And it could be with this situation here with the money. Alright, so also this card has to do with authority. So just getting back to where you need to be at. Understanding what has happened. Okay. And then we have the Four of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this just wasn't coming together. And I... I'm pretty sure you came to realize that this person, whoever it may be, it could be a boss, it could be the neighbor, took money from you or you took money from them, okay? Now we have pentacles here, so you could have been dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Also, you know, with the swords here, air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. But, you know, I really think that this has to do with you, that you kind of, you, you just, it's finally making sense to you. Okay, and then we have wands as well. That is fire sign. Of course, you guys or Aries or Sagittarius, that it just wasn't mixing well, wasn't working. Okay, and then for the potential, I mean the potential future, the present, so remember this is August 1st, August 15th, we have the Three of Pentacles. So, again, having to do with money, but I feel like now there was there's lack of partnership. I don't know if people are just going to be um, mean to you, or you're going to be mean to them, just something is, is not not right something somebody's not playing you know the right cards okay and then we have the nine of wands in reverse hesitant okay now i don't know if some of you guys are still a little hesitant in bringing it up to this person 
or you're afraid of losing losing this friendship, losing I, I, I don't know, some type of connection. But as what we could see already is you're not even partnering up together. There was there's loss, there's it's just not clicking well. Okay. <clears throat> and then again with this the earth sign here. Earth sign, earth sign twice. But again, it could be any sign. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Wands. And with the Ace of Wands here, I feel like a lot of you guys are just going to be like, you know what, I'm, I'm just, you're going to brush it off and leave it and just move on. And But for some of you, you guys, it's just going to be like, eh, it happened, it is what it is. And you guys are still going to be around. For some of you, it's like, eh, no. No, I, I can't. And then for the potential future, this is where it looks very confusing, very hard. We have the Two of Pentacles balancing out two things. Yeah, you're, and it has to do with pentacles here. So money, coins. Again, I'm seeing having to do with a lot of involvement with money. Okay, so that, and then we have the Two of Swords, you know, feeling in the middle. So who, whoever it is that you're dealing with, I mean, you're wanting to just say, head to a different direction. You're wanting that. But I don't know what it is that you're still holding on to or how serious it is, but it has you feeling worried. Okay, but then we have this card here, so I don't know if you're willing to give this person a second chance, or it's you, so you're willing to change. came out so we have the knight of pentacles feeling stuck and again with money and the seven of wands so either this card can mean two things whether you're fighting with people back and forth or it's you trying to just get away from it all you pushing it building this wall all around you Okay, the Ten of Swords. Feeling, you know, somebody definitely did you wrong. And you obviously noticed that. Because this king here is like, yep, I, I got all the facts straight. But it's, what are you going to do next? There's a four of Wands in If you're looking for a love spread, I don't think this month it came out. It's more, I feel like it has to do with money. Somebody's taking money from something, some, from something, from someone. Somebody's just not, they're being cruel. Again, here with the, the pentacles here, the seven of pentacles, overinvestment. Yeah, the person that you were dealing with just wasn't, or the three of pentacles, reverse, just wasn't a good mix for you. Money, oh, no, no, no. It, it, honestly, it could be a friendship as well. Somebody, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to repeat that, but somebody's doing some uh, somebody else wrong. We have the king of wands in reverse. 
remember you guys king and queens in reverse are not good people not good personalities at the time because of course you know one minute we could be evil the next we could be nice so again with this king of wands somebody is definitely being very manipulators you know just very aggressive and having to do with this partnership it's, you know obviously somebody's not being fair the queen of wands okay let's let's pull out one more card there's a nine of wands But also the Queen of Wands is somebody who, if you're being this fake person, if you're being, you know, just somebody, I mean, really you don't even want to waste two seconds of your life with, this Queen here is like, no, I'm not down for that. I could smell your BS from a mile away. So if you want to get you know, real and mature and all that, then you can join me. If not, then no. But again, you know, having to do, you know, feeling hesitant. So I don't know if you're, you really don't want to, like, let go of this person. Or this person can't let go of you. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Again, having to deal with so much money. Um, maybe there was a time that you guys were great you guys were really great and all of a sudden that's when somebody did somebody wrong why is it ace of wands cards yeah immature emotionally immature and just somebody who's distant so somebody's acting that way somebody's not even giving you you know answers they're just being foolish they're just telling you whatever so they could look good so they could feel good what are the two of pentacles Okay, so, I mean, you're almost there. You're searching for which, you know, what to let go and what to keep. But, I mean, that's, the hermit, I feel like, takes his time to get to where he needs to be at. I mean, of course, and look at the bottom row. I mean, of course, the hermit is going to take some time. Because right after, it's it still continues. I don't know if you guys could see. I hope you guys could see. Okay. The Five of Cups. It's, yeah, you're definitely, I, I feel like you did have some, some history with this person. This person must have been very nice to you. This person must have really gotten to know your family. Like, this person has been around. Or this person just came off as, maybe at the time, you were really wanting a friend. And this person just came along and it was like, the perfect match and that's why it's it's emotional for you 
Where's the nine of swords? Okay. The death card. Oh, we actually have two. All right. You know what? It actually, just because we have the nine of swords here, worry. You know, you're going to be okay with this death card, new beginning. All right. And then we have the seven of cups in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse is like, yeah, you have a lot of time to think about a lot, ugh, to think about a lot. It is time for you to make up your mind. Time for you to to make a choice, but right now, like do it quick. Okay, it's time. You have spent a lot of time and energy for nothing on nothing. So now it's it's all about just moving forward. Okay. And I feel like when you're here, that worry, that anxiety. I feel like th that's where it's going to hit you like, why? Why am I still hurting myself? Why Why am I doing this to myself? I know I'm better than this. And that's why I feel like to here with the willing, of cha willing to change, that's where I feel that you're going to turn into a different person. Let's pull out just one clarifier for this. Five of swords. There it is. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's just, it was too too stressful for you. That's why it's like, I, it's got to be me to change. Alright, let's get one love advice card from the Romance Angels. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Alright. If you need to talk about something that's kind of giving you guys distan distance right now, then talk about it. And unsolve any anything that hasn't been so, um, resolved. I can't even talk today. All right, and for those who are who are single, I mean, I guess it really doesn't go for you guys, cause I don't want to I don't want to be like oh well, but, well for some of you if you guys just literally met like yesterday then maybe there's no attraction there's no chemistry it just it's not gonna work that's fine you know, so okay. Remember, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. It's not a message for everybody. Compassion, Archangel Sarkel, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. All right. All right, Leos. I will see you guys very soon. And like I always say, take care. And I wish nothing but the best for each and every single one of you.